The Lemon Slice Nebula is a planetary nebula in the constellation Camelopardalis, located 4,500 light years, or approximately 1,380 parsecs from Earth. It is believed that this nebula was discovered on December 31, 1900, from the Lick Observatory in California by American astronomer Robert Grant Aitken. Later, in 1908, the Irish-British astronomer John Lewis Emile Dreyer cataloged it as IC 3568. To conclude the topic of cataloging, designations, and names, we note that many variations of this nebula's proper name can be found in various sources. Among them are such names as the Lemon Nebula or the Lemon Nebula, the Lemon Tea or Lemon Tea, and even the Eskimo Baby. An image obtained with the Hubble Space Telescope revealed distinct radial patterns, which, incidentally, give the nebula its apparent lemon slice shape, enhanced by false color. The Lemon Slice Nebula is a relatively young nebula, beginning to form approximately 4,000 years ago, perhaps even slightly later. It was this central star that gave it life, gradually shedding its outer envelope. Before this cataclysm, this star was a red giant with a solar mass and a radius of at least 150 times that of our Sun. It's likely that this star's envelope has not yet been completely shed, and its partially exposed core is still hot, with surface temperatures estimated to be between 60,000 and 100,000 Kelvin. The radiation from the central star is several thousand times more powerful than that of our Sun. As a result, double ionization of helium, which predominates in the gaseous envelope surrounding the nucleus, occurs. The nebula's main disk is surrounded by a fairly extensive halo of dust and gas, which, according to theorists, is a remnant of the central star's instability during its red giant phase. Over the next two to three thousand years, the object will steadily increase in size and its central star, shedding its envelope and increasingly exposing its helium core, will reach its maximum temperature. Having reached its maximum temperature, it will finally begin the evolutionary path of a typical white dwarf, subsequently cooling and contracting. As for the nebula itself, having reached its maximum size, it may become visible with binoculars and from Earth. This will be the peak of its glory and life, after which its evolutionary path will begin, leading to its complete dispersal into the interstellar medium, which will be completed in another eight to 10,000 years, leaving the cooling and fading white dwarf all alone. Well, at the moment, the study of the Lemon Slice Nebula continues.